share the screen and you can take a few. I'd rather talk about the Harley in the garage over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice street glide. Yeah, don't hit the Harley, whatever you do, don't do that. <laughs> All right, let me share the screen here, guys. We'll take a peek at uh, today's workout. Oh, where'd it go? Today's workout, we've got um, a workout called Body Bag. Unfortunately named, but so be it. Um, so we've got the three versions of Body Bag. Uh, if you're doing the full equipment version, guys, you're going 21, 18, 15, 12, 9. A pull-ups, B-ball ground to shoulder or sandbag ground to shoulder. Um, something that should be... You can move pretty steadily. Um, the 100 pounds or the 70 pounds shouldn't be something that's gonna take you a long time to move. You could do 10 to 12 reps in a minute uh, just with that steady pace and then burpees. Uh, regular burpees where you're gonna hit the deck and then stand up to full, or jump to full extension, uh, clap over your head. Um, if you're doing the sum equipment version, we're swapping out pull-ups for dumbbell bent over rows, right? So we've got 30, it says alternating, but you can do five on one side, move five on the other. Um, try to get an even number per side. Uh, so three rounds each arm. And then we'll do th 30 single arm dumbbell power cleans. Again, if you want to do five on one and then five on the other, we'll switch every five reps. We'll hit the same number of burpees. Uh, bend over rows and the power cleans go down by six. Uh, burpees to 18 so forth. You can see it's a little bit of a different rep scheme, uh, just so we can even out the number of uh, of rows that we get, uh, and the single arm dumbbell cleans. And then with no equipment, it would be the same thing with an odd object uh, for your Benova rows and your power clean. Any questions? Are you guys still writing that down? Yeah. Well, one second. I will give you a second. So basically it's 30, 24, 18, 12, uh, Uh, of the dumbbells and the power cleans, and then 21, 18, 15, 12, 9 of the burpees. Yes. Um, okay, so the full equipment, two questions. Uh, would you rather jumping pull-ups or uh, rows, like barbell rows? Um, to be honest, I'd probably, ha I'd probably prefer barbell rows in this instance. Okay. Also, um, and ground and shoulder can be cleans? Yeah, you can do power cleans as well. Something that's, again, something that's not super heavy that you can, uh, you're probably going to hit, maybe in, hit in singles, Sheila, like uh, fast singles. Okay. Cool? Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Any other questions, guys? Are we done with the whiteboards? Yeah. Uh, then I will stop sharing that. All right. So just quickly, I guess... Um, for the dumbbell movements, guys, we've got, we're using a single dumbbell, right? So we're going to be doing bent over rows. We want to be in deadlift or five on one side and then switch five on the other, right? With the power cleans, same thing, jumping it up, right? Five on one side, five on the other until we get to that 30. Uh, and then burpees regular. Chest and neck burpees, jump and clap. Chest and neck burpees, jump and clap. Um, so this workout, we're looking at probably the 12 to 20 minute range. I know it's a big range. Um, this is one where we want to go for, if you're doing pull-ups, you want to go for bigger sets in the pull-ups. And then probably think about if you're doing the sandbags, uh, steady pace in the sandbags, steady pace in the cleans. For the other version, same sort of thing. We want to do big sets, uh, maybe unbroken on our bent over rows, and then steady, steady pace on our our cleans and our burpees. Cool. Any questions? Got a nice little class here today. Nice little six a.m. class. All right. For our daily mindset, then uh, one of the most difficult things to give away is kindness, but it usually comes. Uh, it's a great quote, anonymous. Um, one of the things that I found in the kind of situation right now is that you're really seeing a lot of like a lot of kindness shine through in people. People are going out of their way to do things to people, which is really nice. Um, 
we were the recipient of some some random acts of kindness uh, the other day. Someone brought by some stuff, and it's just it's it's pretty crazy to see, and it's awesome how that gets paid paid forward. You know, uh, someone does some crazy nice stuff for you, and then it's it just triggers you to go and do some other stuff for other people. So uh, don't be afraid to start that kindness chain or that domino or that chain reaction. Um, get out there and do some random acts of kindness, and they will come back to you one. All right. Question of the day. What commercial jingle gets stuck in your head and you can't stop singing? All right, so get into the interwebs and answer that one. Uh, I'm sure everyone's got one. Uh, Rich, does Tepperman's have a jingle or a song? Uh, no, we had to get rid of it. it we, we used to. We don't right now. Just, it was just too catchy. It, it was really bad. <laughs> I remember my, my one uncle, his one claim to fame was he wrote a jingle for the weed man. You know, the weed man that like uh, goes and kills all the weeds. He wrote one of the jingles for that. And he, we would never hear the end of that. Um, okay. Uh, let's get warmed up. Um, we're going to start with some active Samson stretch. Active Samson. So let's get ourselves prepped up. Get yourself some room. We're going to go 30 seconds. Too, guys one more thing before uh before we get started uh we signed up and we've got that new technology with the um the heart rate monitor thing and we're going to start doing that in the spin classes and then we're going to choose one class per week if you have a heart rate monitor whether it's a wearable on your wrist or it's a chest strap uh we're going to have this new technology where you'll be able to see how hard you're working and you can see everybody else and then we can organize into teams and kind of do little competitions with that should be a lot of fun. So uh, check that out. We're going to have it activated probably today, today and I'll send out a message with, uh, with the app you need to download and all that stuff. But it's a cool way to almost uh, gamify some of the stuff as well. All right, here we go. We're going active Samson, starting with 30 seconds. In three, two, one, and go. So get that good active Samson stretch. Keep the back knee off the ground. There we go. We're working on that back hip flexor. If you've been running a lot lately, I know those hip flexors are probably feeling a little bit sore. Switch sides whenever you want, guys. There we go. All right, guys. Next one we're going to do is we're going to go air squats. So just regular air squats. Warming up those hips. Get nice and low. Here we go. Beautiful. Let's get to that full depth. Push the knees out. I dream of genie style. That's nice, Mel. You got the little lift going on. All right. And then we're going to go to next one is groiners, guys. So groiners, we're in that plank position. And we're gonna jump the foot outside of our hand, jump the foot outside of our hand, working on a little bit of a groin stretch. Maybe it's a technique we're going to use for our burpees in the workout. Step up, step down, burpees, not a bad option when you've got a lot and you wanna kind of manage that heart rate a little bit. There we go. And then we're going to move into our active Spider-Man stretch, guys. So basically the groiner, but just holding it. Active Spider-Man. Open on up to that side. Open on up. There we go. Beautiful switch sides, guys, if you haven't switched sides already. Connected to John's iPad. Connected to Pixel 2. There we go, guys. All right, next one, we're going to go to Cossack squats. So wide stance, get that sumo stance, and we're going side to side. 
Again, opening up hips, opening up groin, opening up ankles a little bit. Keep that heel down on the ground. Nice wide caustic squat. There we are. Try to keep your heel down on the ground, the one that you're lunging into. Beautiful. And then we're going to frog hops, guys. So from that plank position, we're going to jump our feet to our hands. Try to get the feet flat on the ground. Jump the feet to hands. There you go, frog hops, guys. 30 seconds of frog hops. There we go, jump it up. Nice, good job, Tara. Ready to get it up there. All right, guys, next one, we're going push up to down dog. So we're going to hit that push up, push your head through your shoulders, really open up, hit that push up. Beautiful. All right, guys, next we're going to do is we're going to go to jump squats. So we're going to hit our squat, little jump, little jump, lift up, too far off the ground. Here we go, 30 seconds of jump squats, guys. Squeeze your bottom at the top, keep your chest up. Hit that triple extension, guys. Hard squeeze the bottom in the air, there we go. Think about this when we're doing our cleans or our sandbag cleans. Same thing, we wanna jump that weight up. All right, guys, then from standing, we're going to kick back. So from standing, take your feet back, and then stand back up. Take your feet back, stand back up. There you go, guys, 30 seconds of kick back. Very nice. Good job, guys. Way to get started. Get that heart rate up a little bit. And rest. Good job, guys. Good job. Grab yourself a quick drink if you'd like, and then uh, we're going to get into some mobility here. Some mobility. One thing I was just thinking about is one of the most versatile pieces of equipment you could have right now, guys, would be a sandbag and pretty easy either to A, make or B, purchase. There's a, a company called StrongFit and a few others that make and Rogue that make fillable sandbags so you can change the weights. Um, but those are pretty handy. Stuff like cleans and deadlifts and squats and holds and all that kind of stuff. Um, take up minimal space and have a lot of uh, versatility and a lot of utility. So uh, I know some people are looking to add stuff to their, to their uh, fitness repertoire at home. A sandbag would be a really versatile one that would do a lot. All right. Let's get into our mobility. So we're going to do one that maybe we haven't done before, unless you've been rom wadding with us. We're going to get that wide stance, right? Wide stance, and we're going to do a forward fold, and we're going to hold it for about a minute. We're going to try to get comfortable. We we'll want to work on opening up hamstrings, opening up lower back. So get yourself into your forward fold. We'll spend a minute in that forward fold. Starting in three, two, one, and go. There you go. Listening to a podcast today with uh, uh, Tim Ferriss. He replayed one of his kind of TED Talks. It's only like a 15 minute one um, on fear setting, he calls it, fear setting. So fear setting is when he has something he needs to do and then he 
he wants to list all the absolute worst things that could come out of it. And then basically that's a checklist for what he has to do to mitigate those chances of things happening. Um, said it was a good exercise for him that helped him get away from paralysis by analysis or, or, um, or actually taking charge and taking action in some of the bigger things that he did. So it's a good one. Tim Ferriss show. It's about 18 minutes long, a good little commute podcast on fear setting. So, uh, take a peek at that. Also, if you're familiar with Stoic philosophy, that's basically what he's he's basing it on. So take a peek at that. All right, guys, good. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Let us get ready for our pull-ups. Who's doing pull-ups? Jen, you're doing pull-ups. Kirsten, you're doing pull-ups. Two thumbs down. Roger's doing pull-ups. All right. So what we're gonna do guys, if you're doing pull-ups or if you're doing your, uh, our dumbbell bent over rows or your barbell rows, we're kind of warming up the same way. So with our pull-ups, we're gonna start with 10 scap pull-ups. Now with our dumbbell or our barbell, we're gonna do the same thing. So get into our good stance and then do five scap pull-ups with our dumbbell per side, five scap pull-ups per side or with your barbell, same thing. So go ahead guys, five scap pull-ups or dumbbell Pull up, so keep that chest up. Bend your knees a little bit, Sheila. Yeah. Yeah, when we do these bent over rows, you don't want to be in that stiff-legged stance. You want to have a nice athletic stance. So five scap pull-ups per side. For my pull-up people, we'll go into five kip swings, five good kip swings. For my bent over row people, we're going to go into a two-second pause at the top. We'll do three per side with the dumbbell or five total with a barbell. And then the pull-up people, let's hit three to five kipping pull-ups. And my barbell people will hit, or dumbbell people will hit three, um, or sorry, five full bent over rows or three per side. Really work on keeping that chest up back flat and focusing on the lats, right? Good. I have a question. Yes. If we have a barbell and a dumbbell, which one would you prefer us to use? Uh, if you have a barbell, I would do, I would do the original ref scheme 21, 18, 15, 12, nine, and use your barbell for your bent over rows and your cleans. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. I know it gets kind of confusing with the dumbbell. All right, guys. So hopefully you've got your pull-ups warmed up. Let's move on to our cleans, our sandbag or dumbbell or uh, barbell cleans. So whichever implement you have, we're gonna get five deadlifts per side in. So if you got your sandbag, five deadlifts with your sandbag, or we're gonna go five dumbbell deadlifts per side or five barbell deadlifts. Okay, so five deadlifts, working on getting full extension. There you go, Jen, nice job. All right, once you've got those in guys, we're gonna do five jump and shrug with our sandbag or with our dumbbell. So it's gonna be jump and shrug, jump and shrug, five per side of the dumbbell, five with your barbell, go to mid shin, right mid shin, the sandbag, jump and shrug. There we go. And then what I want you to do is with the sandbag, let's get five sandbag to shoulder. With the dumbbell, we'll get three per side. Dumbbell power clean. So it comes right down to the ground each time. Yeah. John, yeah. should I be doing the sandbag over the shoulder or just to the shoulder and back down? I would say over the shoulder, over the shoulder. Okay. Because we're gonna hit, be hitting singles in the workout and it's tough to bring it up and then back down. So just go over the shoulder. All right, guys, that's the prep for our uh, dumbbell power cleans or our sandbag cleans. Hopefully you got a few in. Now let's get our burpees in. More like practicing burpees. Just think how good we're gonna be at burpees by the time we're done. So good. All right. You could pick a better move and be good at falling down, getting up, falling down, getting up. So we're gonna do three step back burpees. 
So they're gonna look a little bit like this. We're gonna do a step back, hit the ground, step up, jump up, step back, hit the ground, step up, jump up, hit the three, step back, repeat, start. Three, step down, step up, repeat. There we go. Beautiful. Once you got three in, guys, let's go to three. Kick back and jump up. Back, jump up. Jump up. Once you've done that, guys, we want you to do uh, three burpees, however you want, and gain your feet. Think about your breathing. Hit, rest out when you hit the ground. Probably another one you jump up, right? Three burpees of your choice, gain speed. Think about your breathing. Breathe out when you hit the ground. Another rest and then jump. There we go. All right, let's get into our actual practice round, guys. So practice round is gonna be this. We're gonna do five pull-ups or five bent over rows. If you got the dumbbell, it's five per side. We're gonna do five cleans, whether it's sandbag cleans, barbell cleans, dumbbell cleans, and five burpees. So five of each, five, five, and five is gonna be our practice round. Yes. What's a good weight to do? Because you have to do the same weight for both exercises, correct? Well, that would be totally dependent on you. I know, but, but it, there's no reference point. Is 55 good or more? Or? Yeah, do you have the, yeah, I was going to say 65. So if you're oh. around that, I think you're all right. Okay. Cool. All right, guys, let's hit that practice round. We're going to go five, five, and five. Five of each movement. You're going five bent over row with the dumbbell per side if you're doing that. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one, and go. Here we go. Good. All the way to the ground, yeah, chest up. Beautiful. Send those hips back when you catch it, guys. And then five for me. Five for All right, guys, when you're done, if you want to grab a drink, get something to write down your time on. Chop up your That's going to be spicy. It's going to be a spicy one because you're the one thing I want you guys to focus on if you're doing pull ups is bigger sets than normal, right? So everyone has something in their head where they're like, oh, I'm going to break this up into sevens or fives or whatever it's going to be. Try to go a little bit bigger on your pull ups, right? Because you've got a, a kind of upper body rest for, for the rest of it. Bigger sets on your pull ups and then steady pace on your burpees and your sandbag cleans because they're going to be singles, right? John, uh, if I drop that bag over my shoulder, it's insanely loud. So I'm going to try to like lower it quietly. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> tell, those, tell those lazy people to wake up. Just too early. <laughs> yeah. I'm in a group conversation with uh, my wife's um, extended family. And they're talking about a meteorite shower right now. Or it was at like four in the morning. I'm like, it's, you know, it's like 10 o'clock where they are. But it's like four in the morning. I'm like, man. I don't need to be in on this. I got to turn off those notifications. Okay, so we're gonna do 21, 18, 15, 12, nine pull-ups, cleans. <coughs> All right, if we're doing uh, the bend over row version, um, with the dumbbell, we're going 30, 24, 18, 12, six, bend over rows, dumbbell power cleans, and burpees. If you're using the barbell, it's the same rep scheme as the first one. 21, 18, 15, 12, 9, pull-ups, cleans, 
I guess it would be Venom Rose, Queens, and Herpes. I know, confusing. I apologize. But a little bit of brain power early in the morning. Any questions before we get started here, guys? No. All right. Also, I don't know if you, any of you guys saw, we will be doing um, a remote paint party on Friday, May the 1st. We'll provide all of the all of the um, materials. You can pick them up outside the gym. Curbside pickup, uh, 20 bucks a person. Uh, Laura and Karen will lead you through step by step and you'll come out with a masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece. All right, it's my face, so make sure you do a good job. Just kidding. All right. All right, guys. Let's get ready to roll here on the body bag. We're looking at probably a 12 to 20 minute workout, depending on our scaling. Everybody ready? Five second countdown. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bring that back like a boom, 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 boom. Good-looking workout. Let's get some scores. Fourteen forty eight. Eighteen seventeen. Roger. I have no idea. It hurt. Uh, 1837, who did I miss there? Uh, Mel. 1417. Hey, can someone help me carry the 
stand back in? Yes. <laughs> Kilo, what was your time? Yeah, I got you, Raj. 1842. Hey. All right, guys. Did I miss anybody? No. Hey, great job. I'm going to put on a little Ramwad and chill. Um, yeah. Give me one sec. Oh, my God. Kristen, I love your shirt. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> I saw one that I want to get. It says, every good mom says the F word. <laughs> <laughs> every great mom is when the kids say the F word. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oops. Stretch it out. Hurts. How long is the ROM wide for? It's usually like 5, 10, 15 minutes. Like I said, that's a great thing to have in your home gym. It's so versatile. All right. Here we go. Words are cheap. Words are cheap. Thank <laughs> you. 